Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by Jen from the Community Foundation of Northern Illinois. How's it going, Jen? It's going really well. How are you? Doing great. Awesome. Happy New Year to you. And to you. <laughs> <laughs> We're time warping a little bit, that's okay. That's all right. Uh, so for those that don't know or aren't familiar with the foundation, just give them a little bit of background of what the Community Foundation is and what you guys do and support here inside the Rockford community. Sure. So the Community Foundation of Northern Illinois is located in Rockford, but we actually serve four counties, Boone, Ogle, Stevenson, and Winnebago. And we connect generosity of donors in the community to community need. So, um, nice. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so, um, you guys support a lot of organizations and a lot of programs we here do. in the greater Rockford region. Uh, just give me a few that people have probably heard of and, and probably know about. Sure. So we support everything from the art. So places like Anderson Japanese Garden and the Rockford Symphony to education. So Rock Valley College, Highland Community College, um, the public school systems, things like that, um, to human services and health. So the UIC College of Medicine, Freeport Health Network um, just funded their crisis stabilization stabilization center this past year nice um yeah and to homeless services carpenters place rockford rescue mission lots of organizations that serve our communities yeah and you guys are not really um focused on any particular like niche or space it's just kind of like anyone and everyone who's in need here in rockford right we support all types of charitable activities um our largest grant program community grants 50 percent of that funding goes towards education but that's a very broad education <laughs> Very broad sense. Yeah. So that includes early childhood through, you know, college and beyond um, anything that supports the system of education. Nice. And so what are some things that are kind of happening here right now inside of the foundation that people should know about? Yeah. So we are really in the depths of our scholarship season. So one of our biggest and fastest growing programs is the CFNIL scholarship program. We have nearly 100 unique scholarship funds that support all different types of students. But the thing that is common among them is that they're right from here in Northern Illinois. So um, our application is open now and closes February 1st. You fill out one application and it matches you to all of the scholarships for which you're eligible. So that is super convenient. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah that exactly. is like way better than having to fill out, you know, umpteen hundred applications, right, for every individual scholarship. Absolutely. And because it's just for local students and there are so many scholarships, the chances you have a one in three chance of being matched with a scholarship. So it's fantastic. Really great. Yeah. Um, what else is going on? Yeah, so in a, related to that, we <laughs> are looking for scholarship reviewers. We are always in the need of volunteers to help us review scholarship applications. And this year, because as we know, students are spending a lot of time right in front of their computers. They're kind of captive in that way. A little bit, yeah. We're anticipating we're going to get a lot more applications than usual, so we could use more volunteers. And it's a very small um, sort of condensed amount of time that you um, give to this effort and you don't have to review all 1,300 or 1,500 applications. <laughs> that's good to know. Small, that's, yeah. that's an important detail there. <laughs> you're assigned to a committee that reviews a small batch of applications. So um, yeah, if you're interested, uh, get in touch with us. We'd love to have more volunteers. Very cool. And then for uh, anyone who like works at or is part of a nonprofit organization here in the area that is looking to apply for grants, like what's kind of like the process? Like what should the, their first step be in terms of getting involved with the foundation? Absolutely. So come to our website, cfnil.org and look for the grants page. We actually have a grant cycle opening on January 19th, which is a uh, pretty unique program. It's called In Youth We Trust. So we actually have a group of local youth who manage a whole grant program. And this cycle is for um, actually youth-led and youth-serving projects. So youth write the grant application and then youth review the application and make awards. So that's a pretty unique yeah. and special thing. Yeah, yeah, that's super cool, super cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, so uh, anything else before we wrap up here? Well, we're really excited to be jumping into 2021, having just in the middle of December announced our Community Grants Award recipients. So Community Grants is our largest grant program. And this year we awarded $1.3 million to nonprofits across our whole service area. Holy crap. So as the year <laughs> unfolds, yeah, it's, it's really exciting. And there are 67 unique awards in that program. So as the year unfolds, you'll be hearing a lot more about the work that those exceptional organizations are doing in our community. We can't 
can't wait to share more about that, but please visit our website to check out the report and learn more. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jen, for taking the time to get together and chat. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. Uh, yeah, so whether you are a student wanting to apply for a scholarship or you are looking to volunteer and help support um, CFNIL in their mission, or if you're a nonprofit organization here and want to take advantage of the many grant programs that CFNIL offers, uh, head on over to their website. Uh, I just want to give a real quick shout out to our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support, I'm able to highlight positive local stories and great or local organizations like the Community Foundation of Northern Illinois. So a big thank you to them. Uh, and we will see you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford. <laughs>